from Moses Kuria facing angry crowd. To Mutuse chest away. Did Africa build the world? Has built the world throughout the ages. Regarding Gachagua comeback. Regarding Gachagua will immediately begin undermining government policies. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show You Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. The struggle is real. It has always been real and it is still real. Julius Kamau, a patriotic comrade and a Kenyan citizen who has always been there since day one, fighting for a better governance of this country and a better future and the rights of the people. But yet, what does he get in return? He gets humiliated and treated as if he's the criminal. Take a look at this video of brave Julius Kamau. government of the rulers in power, we must not be afraid of politicians. Politicians are as and this, and they stolen our freedom. They have stolen our land. They have stolen our minds. They have stolen our futures. Why people are giving their opinions there? Why I, 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 am I being denied my right to speak? I've seen other people there give their opinions. Give your right. But you are refusing to listen to me because my speech is so radical. Because this country needs a revolution that will save this nation. Yes, we have the duty to save this nation. People are dying everywhere. My people, we are dying. My God, we are living in a society that gives us nothing but death. I refuse to die. Yes, I refuse to die. I will not die. I shall live and declare the words of our Lord. For the Lord God has sent his command. They are saying, do not touch my innocence. Do not harm my prophet. I'm ready to die for my people. I am ready to die for the truth. Christ said that the truth shall set you free. And he said, when you are my disciples indeed, and you know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. As you can see, no matter the obstacles, and no matter the amount of arrests Julius Kamau has faced over the years, he's still there on the ground fighting, fighting for change, fighting for freedom, and fighting for better governance in this country. I am ready to die for the truth. Christ said that the truth shall set you free. And he said, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that Africa, our motherland, has always been the cradle of mankind since day one. But yet, just look at how Africa is being robbed. Our resources, our wealth is being robbed and being used to build Western countries. Take a look at this video of P.L. Lumumba, Professor P.L. Lumumba, had to say about Africa. Has built the world throughout the ages. Africa built Europe. Africa built America. Africa built Australia. Africa is building China. All the resources. You go to Europe today and you see the gold, the copper, the electricity, everything. It is from Africa. And that is why they came here and enslaved us. That is why they came here and took our mineral. That is why they are still coming here. Because Africa is the continent that has fed the world. When we talk about the mother continent, we are not simply talking about the mother continent to the extent that she feeds her own children, but she feeds the world. And the world knows that. And the world knows that. That's why she cannot be allowed to be free. And that is why she must wake up. And she can only wake up when her sons and daughters wake up. 
And we are not saying that when she wakes up, she's not going to feed the world. She will. But she will do so on her own terms and with dignity. But throughout history, Africans have been dehumanized, have been humiliated. So chosen ones, Africans, for how long will you be humiliated? For how long will you be robbed? For how long will you be separated by these colonial borders? For how long? Africa built Europe. Africa built America. Africa built Australia. Africa is building China. All the resources. You go to Europe today and you see the gold, the copper, the electricity, everything. It is from Africa. As we all know, we have a new deputy president, Kutere Kindiki, replacing the former deputy president, Rikadi Gashagwa. But since the former deputy president has been impeached, Rikadi Gashagwa, do you think that it has created a vacuum, an easy path for Raila Odinga? to become the next president or even the next deputy president in the coming elections soon in seven. Listen to this. Ruto has opened a very big and bad terrible door. Floodgates of bad things can come. Assume Ruto succeeds in impeaching Gashagwa and he appoints a new de uh, deputy president. Assume this person is in the person of Raila Odinga. Raila, all his life, all he's wanted was to become a president. He has lied five times, correct? Now, what if Raila, once he becomes the deputy president, he incites the entire house to impeach Ruto? <laughs> because anything in politics is possible. There are no permanent friends, no permanent enemies. So this is what is going to happen. He uses his billions to buy the MPs the same way Ruto has used billions, I mean millions, to buy the MPs to vote against uh, uh, Kashagwa. Assume he succeeds. Now, Raila being the deputy president becomes the president of the republic. Is that a possibility? Yes. The madness that Ruto has opened to the MPs is too much to wish away. This man is under threat and he will live under threat for the length of his service. And talking more about impeachment, a member of the National Assembly by the name of Peter Selassie, he went on and asked the President of Kenya, William Ruto, a very critical uh, question. Why is the development in this country, the ghost project in this country, not being rushed the same way? The same way the impeachment of Rikadi Gashagwa was given attention and rushed. Listen to what he had to say. Nataka ni ulize rais wa Kenya. The way tu unakimbiza wa bunge wako kufanya mamba impeachment ya Gashagwa kama ni kama ndiyo kazi uliachagulio kufanya. Nataka ni ulize wa bunge wako bills gapi ambazo mepitisha katika committee za agriculture na zingine ambazo mutasema mepitisha na zinafanya kazi kuenuwa manaiju wa chini. Lakini mnataka kupitisha zile ambazo muko na interest nazo. Ambazo mnajua iyo ndio interest yenu na hezi benefit mwanainji wa kawaida. Na hata trans transition, ukiangalia wamekuja katoa maneno ya NHIF. Wanaleta mambo ya NHIF. There should be a progress. There should be progress. Pro progress. Like ukitoka hii, sahi ukienda NHIF ukonayo, hayendi through. Unaenda isha, haifanyi kazi. Na watu wanataka kutibiwa mkopali. Mukatua UPA ya wanafuzi wetu watoto wetu wangua na tibio. Amu kuleto utena tifingine, muna selo muna otuogoza, muna otuogoza, muna tipeleko hapi njini watu na ogiza. So, do you think this question deserves an Oscar? Tell us in the comments down below. Nataka na ulize wa bunge wako, bills gapi ambazo mepitisha katika committee za agriculture na zingine, ambazo mutasema mepitisha na zinafanya kazi kuenuwa manaiju wa chini. During the previous presidential campaigns, you saw William Ruto going from church to church and portraying himself as a saint and a savior to Kenya and Africa, even to the point that he's also advocating for pan-Africanism. But yet, here in Kenya, people have died. Many people have died and, and are still dying. People are being abducted under his uh, presidency, under his administration. Listen to what our African brothers had to say about this. Killings abductions and bodies being found you know dead in rivers but to our surprise 
this was only not just a mock to the people of Kenya, but a mock to God because they held that Bible high. We are saying as the youths of Kenya that we are not going to be led by people who are killing us. We are saying uh, uh, as the youth of Kenya that we refuse to be, to, to be led by people who are martyring us, people who are butchering us in the streets when we are advocating for good governance. And seemingly, uh, it seems that the president, Mr. Ruto, is not getting us clearly. And therefore, I, I have an urgent appeal to the First Lady Mama Rachel that tonight we believe that you are a very prayerful lady. Tonight, help us communicate to the president, maybe through love, because what, again, what, uh, what, uh, what kind of force, what kind of chains cannot be broken by the power of love? Look straight into the eyes of Mr. Ruto and tell Ruto that the bloods of the children who are martyred in the streets for no apparent reasons are wailing and, uh, and crying in the streets. For the blood of the Gen Z uh, 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 youths who are martyred, who are butchered by the police on 25th, are wailing and crying in the street. And I want to say, even even to the youths of of Africa, from the northern bones of Algeria to the uh, southern tips of Azania, South Africa, from the eastern horn of Somalia, Kenya, Ethiopia, across Central Africa to the to the, to the western plain of Guinea-Bissau that we must rise up so kenyans are you aware are you aware that a member of parliament by the name of mwengi mutuse he was just away at kalembe Ndile's wife burial after he had a quarrel with an mca so kenyans it things might be getting hotter but compose yourselves and watch this video <laughs> So in your view, in your view, do you think Mutuse has graduated from an MP to a quarreler? It may be getting hotter, but look at the document, compose yourself and read. The only thing I'm missing right now is a mustache. But how can you go and quarrel at someone's wife burial? No respect for the family. <laughs> Apart from Mutuse being chased away from Kalem Mendile's wife burial, take a look at this video of Moses Kuria being chased out of stage from uh, Tony Young's event. Take a look. <laughs> There have been many, many abductions that have occurred since day one, since the protest started, since people occupied the parliament and they finished Kumalod. But why are people being abducted by this corrupt regime? Tell us this video of somebody being abducted.
I have watched this video in disbelief. Like how can somebody be abducted but yet people are, are there just standing and watching. Kenyans, learn to take actions. Since now the former deputy president of Kenya, Rigathi Gashagwa, is no longer in power, do you think he will start going against the government in terms of exposing the corruption that is deep rooted in to the government? Listen to this. After being successfully removed from office, Rigathi Gashagwa will immediately begin undermining government policies. When they bring SHIF, he will now be in a position to speak against it. He'll be in a position to speak against the Adani deals. He'll be in a position to speak against just about anything that does not sit well with the people, including abduction. I want to give a very big shout out and a very big thank you to all the Gen Z's out there, to all the people, the people of Kenya who took to the streets to fight for better governance, for a better future in this country and for good leadership. And the former Minister of Justice, Eugene Maumalwa, came out during Mashuja Day to congratulate and appreciate the Gen Z's. Take a look. Gen Z, we salute you. And as a nation, we owe you a debt of gratitude. Sababu nini mmeonyesha ni mashuja na nini mmeonyesha ni wazalendo. In fact, what you have achieved in three weeks has never been achieved in the last three decades. You, the Gen Z, have dared where other egos never dared. And today, as we celebrate this hero called Rex, we want you to know you too are our heroes. You are soared like young eagles above the boundaries of our parochial tribal politics. You have said you want a Kenya that is tribeless. You as the young eagles have soared above the boundaries of our regional politics. You have soared above the boundaries of our corrupt parochial politics. So we celebrate you here today. So this man deploys a military kombora, against people whose only weapon is a hashtag. A couple of people get killed and then he goes on national television to say he has no blood on his hands. Eh. Hey, this is some diabolical shit. I love to put a delinquent. 2027 working Yo. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.